This clip is focusing on motivated forgetting, aka repression. According to Freud, repression is a defense mechanism which blocks out painful or traumatic memories from our conscious awareness. And a distinguishing feature of repression as opposed to suppression is that the blocking is an unconscious process. There is empirical evidence that we can actually suppress information from our conscious awareness, as was done in this experiment based on 2004. I suggest you have a, pause the YouTube and have a read of this. It's also in the textbooks. So suppression is a conscious blocking of memories from our awareness. And the experiment on the previous slide indicated increased activity in the frontal lobe as detected by an fMRI which led to a decrease in activity in the hippocampus. So in terms of some of the evidence of repression, well firstly, the fact that a hypnotherapist can unearth some traumatic childhood event that's literally affecting the um, patient's well-being. Likewise, dream analysis, the patient might be having a recurring dream that might be some manifestation of some, again, traumatic childhood event that's literally stopping the patient from moving on. Now this is a sensitive topic and there's a great deal of literature that actually debates the validity of repression. Some theorists argue that rather than sort of looking at forgetting, it's more a case of a failure to encode the information in the first place because when we're actually experiencing something traumatic, our attention is very narrowed, we're in survival mode, so therefore we're unable to encode the detail. Alternatively, if it's um, say a violent episode, it might result in an interruption to the consolidation process, so the memory trace is never fully formed.